Welcome, I'm Bob Vissi-Schwab. Tom Lamb's show business career started early. As a teenager in the 60s, Tom was a member of the folk singing group, The Villagers, and performed occasionally on radio and television. That was when he fell in love with broadcasting. In 1969, he snared the coveted job of switchboard operator at Keener Radio. But Uncle Sam had other plans, and Tom soon found himself in Vietnam, where, fortunately, he got a job at the Armed Forces Television Station, working seven days a week. Back home in 71, Tom landed his dream job, working the night shift at WHFI 94.7 in Birmingham. Tom was living large, making a whopping $8 a day. But the lucrative world of public television was calling his name. So in 1973, Tom joined WTVS Channel 56 as a studio engineer, running camera, doing audio, and hanging lights. Oh yeah, okay man, this job. I need more I need more money doing this job. Ultimately, being promoted to studio supervisor. You all fast for that. You want apple pie or cherry? Over the years, Tom also found himself in front of the camera. You may remember him as the regular guy. Those Saturday how-to shows on Channel 56 can really make life easy for a regular guy. And I better go check on that roast. This might be a job for the frugal gourmet. Regular guys from north and south, get ready. seen some of his commercials. We can match any color, and we offer a three-year guarantee. Here you go, Flamingo Pink. Oh, look, Fifi. Oh, lovely. Your briefcase. And you're not driving because you're up to your neck and bill. Well, drop in at Larry Lee's Auto Center. The selection's huge, down payments are small, and the financing's a snap. Regardless of past credit problems, we can work it out at Larry Lee's or not. Troy Video Transfer on Rochester Road, just south of Long Lake in Troy. Tom Lamb is also known for his voiceover work. With a $75 gift to this public TV station. We wouldn't really interrupt your program to tell you who won an item on our online auction. This is the 10th Annual Reading Rainbow Awards for Young Writers and Illustrators. And he's written music for PBS Pledge Specials. Most of all, Tom's known for his sense of humor. <laughs> all right, look, here's Red Green up here, here's Detroit over here. I'd like to see him come down, so could you call right now? You know, I don't like the white one so much. I ain't gonna try and get me a brown one today. My old lady got a white one. I, maybe I, I don't know, maybe I'll go for a brown one with you too. Yeah. But you gotta shoot them brown ones twice. Could you uh, hand me that beer over there? Uh, we'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to heat up the oven. Oh, be Being a, a self-confessed folk dork, he produced a segment on the Kingston Trio for Detroit Public TV. In 1957, San Francisco publicist Frank Werber went down to nearby Menlo Park to catch a singing group he'd heard about. At a place called the Cracked Pot, he found Dave Gard, Nick Reynolds, and Bob Shane singing folk and calypso songs to a very hip, very attentive crowd. But how can you sum up a career of over 30 years without mentioning the Channel 56 auction? Tom loved the seemingly endless live production and the hellish setup and teardown. He even showed up in the auction opens. From folk singer to broadcasting legend, congratulations, Tom Lamb on joining the 2005 Silver Circle.